Hi, everybody. Welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Chris Bazell. Chris, I think I got your name right on that one. Bazell? Bazell. I keep on adding the R. We get, as we get ready to give you this Southeast Conference matchup between the visiting ranked number one in the state, Lady Trojans of Bridgewater Arena, of course, the Brockton Lady Boxers, coming into this game five and four, and the Trojans currently undefeated at eight and oh. This should be one heck of a game. Yeah, it should be one heck of a game, man. The, the, late, the Lady Trojans ranked number one in the state. Shea Bowen. Yeah, forward Shea Bowen, number 22. Mm, many, many Division One offers from schools across the country. So I look for her to, to showcase our talents today. But, but on the other side, Brockton in their, in their white uniforms. Look, look for Morgan Thatcher to tell this ball club to play hard throughout the whole quarter, throughout the whole game, because they're going to need it. Absolutely. Like, it might just come down to who has the wind at the end of the game to finish off the, to finish the game. Yes. All right, so here we go on the tip-off. Again, welcome to BCA TV. And on the tip, and it is won by the Trojans. That's Calvani on that. And she will have a change of possession just like that. On inbound that was Williams. And here's Alexandra Williams, the leading player for this Brockton High Lady Boxing Club. She works it inside to Fernandez. Fernandez tries to go baseline. Her jump shot, that's wide. Covered by the boxes out of bounds. They're going to call it Trojan basketball. So we'll have a change of possession here. And in comes Madalonis, the point guard for the Lady Trojans. They work it inside now, back outside to Madelonis, all the way inside to Boland. Oh, she's and fouled. And she's fouled. And she'll go to the charity stripe. I know that's old school saying that. Yeah. To shoot a couple. Yeah, the, yeah, the fouls on Rebecca Tennis, man. As, as we see Shay Bowen try to knock down these free throws. Her first, team first. Again, just underway here from Staff Gymnasium at Brockton High School. Yeah, the problem with Brockton High the last game was foul trouble against Dartmouth. That's how Dartmouth kind of came back in this game and won against the Lady Boxers. They really have to stay out of foul trouble to stay, to stay close in this one. All right, so here come the Boxers now as Williams leads this offense. He tries, thinking about driving right down the lane, makes a couple of great moves. A floater with the left hand won't go. Rebound Trojans. And there's a block and a steal by Williams. What a heads up play on that one. She takes a long baseline three. That's off. Rebound the Trojan, here comes Madalonis up to Calvini, oh, and that's nice blocked by Williams. She's going to lay it up with the right hand off the glass and finishes. Good awareness by Alexandra Williams, using her energy early on. Absolutely. Kenzie Madalonis covered by Williams, works it over to Calvani, over to Noah. Ty, excuse me, two of the baseline, long three, won't go. As Kelly tried to go that, tried to hit that one, here comes the boxers. Williams now thinking three stops, gets it up to the top of the key and driving with her right in. This Williams, we'll, get, we'll make sure we, we let everyone know what Williams is doing, what. Works it back inside. Baseline, seven seconds on the shot clock. She drives the right and she lets her floater go and it won't, it won't fall, rebound Trojans. Here comes Madalonis now. Oh, inside the Kelly was unprotected and she lays it right up the glass for an easy bucket. Uncovered under the hoop on that one. Yeah, that was good, good, good play making by Kenzie Madalonis finding the open player in the paint. Alexander Williams tries to work on the side as Ty steps in front of that one for the Trojan on a quick break. Here comes Shea Boland, kicks it back off the tie for three. That won't go, rebound boxers. Alexandra Williams now showing a lot of hustle early in this game. A lot of hustle early on, yes. She will not quit. Works it inside to Elizabeth Williams. Oh. Elizabeth tries to lay it off and that's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay boxers possession. Yeah, Alexandra Williams cutting the anticipation by number 21 for the Rainham Trojans and lays it up and in. Two points early on for the boxers. 
And we're back, we have a change of possession, inbound pass. Came out of the reach, it'll be Trojans basketball right in front of us. With a one point lead, just on the 520 left in this first quarter. Bowling, bowling for three, won't go. Bowling, excuse me, rebound boxers. Here comes Williams leading up this boxer offense. Top of the key, look, she steps back for three and hits. Nice shot by Williams. Nice release. Now Madelana answers back for her own three. In the exchange, we have a three point tournament going on early in this game. Now Williams, covered by Madelana, goes to her left. Thinking about it, nice fake, works it inside. To Fernandez, Fernandez is double teamed, they'll start it all up again. Only 10 seconds on the shot clock. Williams is looking, she's gonna go to the left drive baseline. She'll float it up there off the glass. Rebound Trojans. Comes Kelly on the rebound. Yeah, Alexandra Williams, she needs some help on the offensive end. There needs to be some screen set for her. Bowling for three, won't go inside the tie. And that out of bounds. I don't think there's a little miscommunication between Calvani and Ty on yes. that in, in that inside pass. I don't think she actually saw it. But it goes Brockton's way, so we'll have a, another change of possession. Approaching four minutes left in the first quarter. Williams works it all the way over to Montero. Montero thinking about driving. Floats one up off the glass. High won't go. Rebound at the glass of the boxers. Okay. Clean that up. As tennis does her job. Yeah, that's right back at tennis's job, getting rebounds and put, and cleaning up. I love I love what she's doing right now so far. Madalonis covered by Williams. She steps back for three. That's long. Rebound boxers. And Williams now. We'll have a doubleheader. We'll have a of the boys game for you later today. Yeah, has a left hand that's wide. Oh. oh, she almost came down with her own rebound, but she didn't realize the last minute she was out of bounds when she tried to put herself back into play. Yes. Yeah, the stars of the game, Alexandra Williams for the um, for the boxes and Shea Bowen for the um, Trojans. They're both playing well so far, both both contributing early, both very active. And Ty steps back for three, won't go, hits the top of the shot clock. And that's considered out of play. We'll have another change of possession as the boxes will start their offense again, already up by one. Coaching three minutes left in this first quarter. Williams. And that was King initially. Now works at baseline. Now King, she's blocked. She got blocked twice. That's a tough young lady driving the baseline when you have Shea Bolin and Ty from Bridgewater Raynham barreling down in you. Exactly. Keenari King, she has a lot of heart. Strong girl right there. Now on the inbound in the Bridgewater Raynham and they work it all the way. This could be backcourt. And they're going to say it is backcourt from that, if I read my hand signals correctly. Yes. If we read, a, read our hand signals correctly, <laughs> right? So Calvini on the inbound out to Madalonis. Madalonis covered tight by Williams, and we're going to have a reach. And that's only the second team foul in this whole game. And unfortunately, two of them belong to Brockton right now. Ty now. On the inbound, gets over to Shea Bolin. Bolin now. Covered by Fernandez, gets over to Tosh. She's gonna try to drive baseline, works it inside. Oh, wow. Taken away, nice play by the Lady Boxers. And it comes William on a fast break. Oh, she got a pocket pick by Madalonis. It's a two on one in transition. Ty will try to finish, and she nice. does. I gotta get in a bad habit. I, you never know when that's gonna come out of the cylinder, though. Exactly, yeah, great, great play by Madalonis. Now Williams tries to finish, just misses. Rebound Trojans. And hustling and trying everything she could do as she's just as tall as me is um, Kenaria King. My Ke Saint Kenari King. Kenari King, thank you. Y yes, we saw Mad Madalonis playmaking. Finds number 34, who is number 34, Talia Tala. Now on the inbound, 218 up, thinking about shooting. And then Madalonis, along with Shea Bolin, they have a little turnover back and forth. They go off the glass high, can't finish on the rebound. She goes up, and it looks like 
Calvani got fouled under the rim. She did, so she'll go to the charity stripe for a pair of shots. Great unselfishness by the Lady Trojans so far. Just sharing the basketball throughout the whole quarter. Great, great basketball play by them. Absolutely. Actually, both ways. Even the Lady Boxers, you know, they're, they're doing what they do, do best. They don't give up. They drive and trying to compete with this, you know, undefeated Trojans team. They're doing a good job. They're scrappy. And now we have a couple changes coming in for the for the Lady Trojans. And we have uh, Amber Silva. She checks in along with number 20. Is it? I think that's 33. It is 33. That's Struggles. Jordan Struggles. She checks in. And along with the boxes. We'll give you the boxes changes as we can on the fly. And then inbound, inbound pass stolen by Matt Alanis. But the box is able to boxes are able to recover and trying to drive base on her shots blocked. As Montero again tried to make a great move under the hope she just you know you, Shea Bolin has like two feet on her yeah. she did her best baseline, but it'll stay boxes ball in the Trojans and under two minutes left in the quarter. She goes hi they're gonna have a call for an up and they're gonna call for a double dribble used to be called up and down back in the old days. Yeah. Oh and Calvini's hurting. She, I, she, might have, she might have a cramp. And the ref will give her, the officials will give them a little bit of time to see if she can't work it out. Otherwise, they need to get somebody. It looks like Kelly's ready to check in for Calvini. And she does. Officially 158, 158 left in this first quarter. And Madalonis will bring it up. As she got, as she's guarded by King, trying to go to her right. Goes her left is screaming into her right, kicks back out to Kelly. Kelly thinking about driving her float up the glass, won't go. Recovered by Silva for the for the Trojans. Long three. Ooh, she's and she's fouled after trying. Madelonis is fouled after trying to complete a three. A three. She only, if she hit that, that would have ended up being almost a four-point play. Yes, exactly, yes. So she'll go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple for the Lady Trojans. As you can see, their lead is two. She misses the first. If you go to our stats, here's a look at this next last play. Yeah, Silva. Matt, yeah, Madalonis with a deep three and, and Kinari King with a, a bump a bit made her fall. She hits the second one. Madelonis is 11 for 17 from the charity stripe. Now she is 12 for 19. Here's her third shot. Hits two out of three. And gives the Trojans a four point lead. With now a minute 30 left in the quarter. Now Williams. Rush to the baseline, we're gonna have a travel. She forgot to dribble the ball. Yes. And that was Dingle. Yeah, Ding Matt, Matt alone is shooting 52% from the three. So she's going to be attempting more of those later on in oh, the game. Oh, yeah. Now Matt Alonis gets over to Silva. Silva thinking. Pivots her foot. Gets all the way over back to Matt Alonis. Right side out. Works it inside. Just struggles wow. off the glass. And then nice play. Great playmaking by the Trojans so far. The lead is six. Yeah, the Trojans playing man-to-man -man defense on the Lady Boxers right now. Williams thinking about driving base on. She just throws it up there, lost her balance, and was unable to get a lot on that shot. And in transition, here come the Trojans. Silva struggles now. Madalonis with a clean look. Just off. Rebound. Trojans again, top of the key. Madalonis thinking about driving. Works it well over to struggles from the baseline. Won't go, the far baseline. Rebound, Boxers. Approaching 35 seconds left in this first quarter. And there's Williams with a long three. Off the rim, won't go. What a smart heads up play by Silver. She was charging for the ball. Turned and was able to play it off another boxer so it'll be Trojan's ball. There is .8 seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. 
Bowling, bowling now. She makes a good move. Wow. Some go up right hand. Strong. Won't finish. Ten seconds left. Rebound. Boxers. Greatly defended by Fernandez. Great job by Fernandez. You gotta hurry up if you're Brockton. Williams gonna get it off, Not and she late. won't. And after one, your score: Trojans thirteen, Boxers seven. And on the stat sheet, we have four. Uh, team fouls for the Lady Boxers, and the Trojans have been perfect in this first quarter as far as getting themselves in any type of penalty foul trouble, I should say. Yeah, they've been they've been playing nearly perfect basketball for this first quarter. Um, unselfish basketball, as I said. Shea Bowen passing the ball. K K Kenzie Madalunas playing playing great from the point guard position. She's the reason why they have this lead right now. And yeah, they're just playing flawless basketball. Un just uncanny, uncanny ability by these lady Trojans. I'll That's the reason they're number one in the state. Exactly. I'll tell you, my favorite boxer of the year right now is Karine, uh, Kanarina King, yeah, number Kinari five. King, yes. I love her speed. Yeah. I love her. I love her hustle. Yeah, Kinari plays a lot with a lot of heart. A lot of her. She has a lot of that. All right. So here we go. And again, following this, Chris and I will have the boys' game. As the three and six Trojans take on the seven and two Southeast Conference leading champions, conference champions as of right now, the boys boxer team. Yes. All right, so we'll just wait. We're just waiting as we come out of this break. Let's see what they do for personnel. Uh, no changes really for the uh, Trojans, and it looks like the boxers are going to stay the same, except they don't have my favorite player in there right now, but. I'll have to talk to the coach at the half about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Williams on the inbound for the boxes. Gives it to Elizabeth Williams, I'm thinking, their sisters. I hope I'm right. Oh, nice pick. Tried to work it inside. Great play. See if they're going to see if they finish. Now Williams stops. Now she dribbles. She didn't see struggles on her right side. She had to step back. I thought Struggles was going to pick her. Parker works on side to Elizabeth Williams. She gets it to the other side of the perimeter. Off. That's blocked. Shea Bolin on the oh. rebound. We're going to have a foul on reach. And then it looks like they're going to call that on Angelina Fernandez, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, the Lady Trojans are doing a great job congesting the paint. The Brockton Boxers love to score in the paint. And the, and the Trojans are doing a great job of stopping that. Scouted well. As they say, right? Yeah. Struggles yeah. now, top of the key. Rush it well over to Silver. Was a clean look for three. Jeff, too long. Rebound, Boxers. Here comes, a, here comes Elizabeth Williams now. Goes to her right, tries to go around Silva. Works it inside, off the glass. Oh, and that's blocked. Works again, and she fouled this time. That's going to be on Struggles as Rebecca uh, Tannis. And I actually got all those vowels right that time. She'll go to the charity stripe for Brockton. Here's her first attempt. That's clean. And the That's our Rebecca Tennis gets fouled here by Striggles. And she continues as she continues to score after the rebounds. She hit her first one. She's gonna try to finish it. And she does, she hits them both. The lead is four. Thank you. Now Madalonis over to Ty. Ty over to Bolin. Now Bolin, excuse me, Shea Bolin. She's driving right, stops, kicks out to Kelly. Kelly now goes to the top. The, gets the tie now from the other side. She's driving right down the lane, is blocked. Oh. And we're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow will go in favor of the Trojans, so it'll stay Trojan ball. Just on the way here in the second quarter, 6.51 left in the half. On the inside, Bowling now, little jumper won't go. Rebound, Brockton. Here comes Elizabeth Williams, she's gonna run. See if she drives the lane, she's thinking about it. Her floater, not strong enough, off. And we're gonna have a foul. Yeah, it's, they're gonna call it again, they're gonna call that on Angelina Fernandez. Yeah, foul trouble. Foul trouble is going to be um, a crypt tonight for the Lady Boxers. They really got to they really got to settle it down. One more foul, they're on the penalty. Yeah, you go right into the bonus, the single bonus. Tie over to Shea Bolin. Bolin, Bolin trying to drive. Kelly now back out to Kelly. 
Silva, Amber Silva tied from the other side, three and hits. Now, Alexandra Williams, make sure we get the girls right. There's a long three. That's short, but great job by the boxers recovering that. Now inside, there's a baseline shot on the rebound, a little scuffle on the floor. Let's see who gets it. We're gonna have a jump ball. I believe the possession now should, should go in favor of the boxers. And here's a, let's take a look at this. Yeah, nice, nice three by Talia Ta. Wide open shot. She made, she, she's actually had, she's actually had a, a, a nice two pointer early on. And she, so she has five points on the day. Now we got an inbound in the box, in the Trojans and gets it back out to Win, uh, Williams. Elizabeth, when she steps back for three, in and out won't go, rebound BR. And here come the Trojans, Matt Alonis might want to run. She kicks over to Kelly baseline, but she dragged her pivot foot. And we'll have a change of possession. 5.47 left in this half. The lead is seven for the Trojans. Williams now works it into Elizabeth Williams, Alexandra Williams, thinking about trying to work. Now she's double teamed. Oh, and she lost it. That was great team. That was great teamwork by the shortest girl on the court for the for the Trojans yeah. and the tallest girl on the court yeah, the, on that one. Yeah, the Trojans are playing outstanding defense so far right now. And there's a takeaway in transition. Shea Ballin's gonna try to finish off the glass. She makes it look easy. Looks easy off with the right hand. Time out. Time out. Boxers, the lead is nine, 524 left in the game. Yeah, Matt Alonis on the outlet pass to Shea Bowen. She'll lay it up with no, with not much trouble around here. Two points. I stand corrected, 524 left in the half. So everyone, please do not leave your seat. The game is, we have another half to play. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nine-point difference. Yeah, the, yeah, the boxes are the lady boxes are a little bit overmatched. The lady Trojans are more are, are much more bigger, more skilled, and much more taller. But they they really gotta they really gotta find they gotta figure out their niche. Absolutely, great point you mentioned when we when we started the second quarter was the foul trouble. Right now, the boxes are in, and, and again, exactly what you mentioned before was one more you go into the signal bonus, yes. and that could really hurt them. It'll really hurt them. Yes. You know. But you know, it's only down by nine, so you get a low, you get a, you get a whole three quarters of half to play. So the Brockton Boxes have 11 turnovers in 13.30 sec, 13 minutes and 36 seconds. Madelon is four assists, four steals for the Trojans. And a big thank you to my buddy, Jim Seavey, who helps me out when we, when uh, 4D Sports Talk covers uh, Trojan basketball, girls basketball. Now Williams, covered by Madeline's little switch. Silva picks her up. She's gonna drive down the lane with a right left. Oh, nice, nice move over Shea Bolin with her left hand. That's a hard feat to do. Uh, yes, a, a very skillful layup by Williams. Very skillful. Now Madeline, she'll drive left. She's gonna drive right down the lane. She kicks back up to Kelly. Kelly drives from the other side. Off the glass, won't go. Rebound Brockton. Now Williams. Get over to Elizabeth Williams. Now she's thinking about driving with her right hand. She stops, turn around her float up the glass and hits. It's funny, I try to tell the, it's, it's the way you release the ball. If you've done a jump shot, it looks like a floater. That's yeah. why I call it a floater. Now tie inside the Shea. Oh, oh Shea Bolin made that look easy off the glass. Lead back up to seven, approaching four minutes left in this first half. Shea Bowen, she's able to do plays like that, especially at her height. Absolutely. Now Alexandra Williams, covered by Madeline, switched over to Elizabeth Williams, almost a give and go. She's at the free throw line, steps back, top of the perimeter, covered by Silva. Over to Alexandra, the seven seconds left, her floater, and hits. Wow. She's got herself a good rhythm now. Yes, yeah, the Williams sisters look like they're heating up right now. They're, the lady boxes definitely need them for this game. Shea Bolin for three. Hits. Oh. That's all net right there. <coughs> now Elizabeth Williams. 
Watch Madalonis' mechanics. She's watching, he's watching her hips and watching the ball when she plays defense. Works into Elizabeth Williams now. She's covered by, she's gets double teamed, works over the sister, but she drags her pivot foot oh, and she's gonna get called for the travel. Yeah, the pass by Madalonis. Another assist by Madalonis, as we say, Shea Bowen with a deep three. All yeah, right. Shea Bowen already with eight points today. All right, here comes Madalonis now. Approaching three minutes left in this first half. In this Southeast Conference matchup. Line drive from Madalonis to Kelly. Steps back, bowling, can't, won't go. Rebound, Brockton. It's all loose on the floor. And fighting for it is King. Finally in the game. And now they're going to try to run. Let's see if she tries to finish off the glass. And she's blocked by Shea Bolin. As Tannis tried to make a move. Now in transition, here come the Trojans. Tie for a long three. Wow. That's, sh let's see, that's gonna run short. Look that. It, looked like, it looked like it was going in from my angle. It did, yeah. it really did. Now checking in for Brockton is Almeida. And Elizabeth Williams is coming out. So Almeida checks in for Williams. And Katarina King, number five, is in the game. Now Williams tried to go for pick. She changes directions. Now she goes left to right. Lost her handle. Oh. She might. She, oh, that might have been a foul on. That might have been a foul for Williams. She. I believe she was hitting the wrist. But. Yep. They're gonna call that she lost that. It was last touched by the Trojans. So it'll be Box's ball. Here's a look. Mm. All right on the inbound. Now King. King, her little floater hits. Nice. Madelon is covered by, covered by King Shea Bolin. Bolin now out to Kelly. Kelly's gonna drive right down the lane, her floater, Ooh. and she's fouled. And they're gonna call that on. One, uh, number 12, that's Dingle. I believe that's her first. But that, that now puts, puts the boxes in the penalty. Actually, of course, I should say the Trojans. Helps out the Trojans in the one and one. So Kelly to shoot a couple. Misses the first. Officially 208, as you can see in the top right corner of your screen, left in this first half. Here's her second, misses the second, misses them both, rebound Brockton. Dingle initially had it, she gets it over to Williams. Williams, again, covered by Madelon, it's over to our little flutter inside, that was Almeida, I'm sorry about that, and we're gonna have a foul. That's on Calvani, who just checks in. She's the one who had that cramp. Amber Silva right in front of us, getting ready to check in to our right for the Trojans. Yeah, Desiree Almeida, a senior, she'll, she'll get her first minutes of this game. Minutes are earned in practice. All right, so De uh, Almeida to shoot a couple. This is the first. And it looks like Elizabeth Williams checks in, and of course, Kelly checks out for the Trojans, and Amber Silva checks in for the Trojans. Here's her second shot. It misses that one, sorry. Now, Madalonis trying to go around King. Oh, a long three for Bowl, and wow. it hits. Wow. Shea Bowen has range in her game. She does. Now Williams driving with the left hand, steps back. That ball was tipped by Madalonis. Initially blocked and on the rebound. Here come the Trojans. Almeida. Now with the Silva. I mean, Almeida was covering Metalonis. Long steps back for three tie hits. Wow. Talia Todd's playing an outstanding game tonight. She is. Now Williams thinking about driving right. Oh, mm. she threw, I think. I don't know if that was a pass, an inside pass or whatever. Now off the glass. Nice oh. move. 
to put that. Tannis on that move, trying to go around. Did go around Shea Bolin on that one. Rebecca Tannis is playing great as well. A minute left in the, in the half. Jay Bolin was thinking three. Now she steps back, lets one go. Rebound Brockton, falls short, 40 seconds left. King's gonna try to, let's see if King tries to make a move. Now she puts on the Jets. A little floater, but they're gonna get her for dragging her pivot foot on oh, the travel. Wow. She looks like she slipped with the wet. Yeah. As we see here, Talia Tall off the cut. It makes it a three. Nice shot by her. And we'll have a foul on the floor, a slap on the wrist that automatically puts him in the bonus. So Madalonis will shoot the one and one with 23.7 tenths of a second left in this first half. And following that, Chris and I will have the boys game. Hits the first. That was kind of weird there for a minute. Madelon has fell down. Shea Bolin will take a seat, and Kelly will come in for her. And she misses the second. Rebound. Kelly to clean it up, and she does. You got to love that hustle. Yes. Mm -hmm. What, trying to move, Williams looking for some room. Yeah, Alameda for three, but that ball's tipped. And recovered by the Trojans, and that's how the quarter will end. The half will end with your score. The Bridgewater Raynham Trojans 32, the Brockton Boxers 19 will step away. Chris and I will be back with second half action right after this. Hi right, everybody, welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Chris Bazell. I finally got that name right. If I say it, sound, it almost sounds like I know what I'm talking about. We're at the half here, getting ready to start the second half, and your score, as you can see on your monitor, coming up in a little bit, 32-19 Trojans. Well, we have some stats handed to us by um, Jim Seavey. Why don't we go over those, Chris? Yeah, well, the Bridgewater Rainham Trojans, they're playing, they're playing pretty they're playing pretty effortless basketball, but they're shooting actually 36% from the field as Brockton is shooting a pedestrian 25, 25%. Brockton's one for five from three. Bridgewater and him attempted a lot of threes. They, they're five for 17 from three, 20, that's 29%. And they're five of 10. They've been getting to the free throw line a lot, five of 10. Yeah, absolutely. Five of 10 from the line as, as Brockton is two, as Brockton is two or four. Yeah, yeah the, yeah, the leading yeah, the leading scorer obviously is um Shea Bowen with eleven, Talia Tall with eight, leading the Trojans. Alexandra Williams with nine, and Rebecca Tannis with six. Yeah, and Rebe Rebecca Tannis is Rebecca Tannis has along with Tannis is six points. She has seven rebounds. So she's been very productive for the for the lady boxes. Alexandra Williams, she needs to get it going. Yep. The Lady Trojans are, are playing good basketball so far. She definitely showed it late in that second quarter when she was hitting those uh, those floaters with the big left hand and then her sister did the other thing from the other side of the baseline. Yeah. Yeah. And hustle, you cannot you cannot discredit Brockton for not hustling, because they are hustling. Yeah, the sisters yeah, the sisters need to score an, an abundance to really keep up with this game. And again, a big thank you to Jim Seavey giving us the stats at the half. And again, Chris and I will give you the boys game as the seven and two Brockton boxers host a three and six Bridgewater Random Trojans run the way here in this second half. And just like that, there's Calvini back in the game. Back to Madalonis. Kicks it back up to tie for three. Hits. Wow. That was graceful right there. And it comes Williams leading the attack, Alexandra Williams. Man, Talia Tall is almost like she's automatic from the three-point field, man. Montero, her float a big, a little too strong. Calvini with the... Calvini with the offensive, with the rebound, excuse me, for the, oh, little give and go inside, Calvini ah. from Ty off the glass. That's impressive. 
Brockton has to answer now, though they have to start putting some baskets in the in the cylinder here. It's Williams all the way over to her sister. There's a long three. Nice That's shot. nothing but net. Elizabeth Williams for three for Brockton. Now Madalonis covered by Alexandra Williams. Now she stops over to tie a little give and go, but they, a little miscommunication. And Brockton, now we have on the floor, on the floor, we'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. Little miscommunication between Ty and Madalonis. Yes. Because Ty tried to do the same thing she just did with Calvini. Yes. But this time Brockton read it well. In, in the lady boxes, they have only two assists so far in this game. They really gotta, they really gotta share the basketball and find some offensive, offensive skill, offensive shooting. Now back out Williams on the pass. Back out to assist. It's Elizabeth Williams tied, almost had a steal. The Trojans regroup defensively. She sees a lane and she's gonna get her for a travel. Oh. So we'll have a change of possession. 6.27 officially left in this third quarter. Yeah, that might have been a debatable jump ball as the, the lady boxes were seeing, but I don't know, but they called it travel. Tie now, works away to the right, gets it over to Calvini, over to Bolin. Bolin thinking about driving, over to Kelly. Now Kelly, back out to the baseline, Madelon's had a shot, kicks it back out to Ke Kelly. Kelly will drive, that's blocked, recovered by the boxers. Now Williams, approaching six minutes left in the third quarter. Turn around, jump shot won't go. Rebound on the, we're on the floor here. Let's see if we're gonna have another jump ball. We'll see what possession arrow goes. It goes in favor of the Trojans. Wow. <laughs> Madelonis now. Calvini inside the bowling. They're gonna get Williams over the top. She does her best as a there's a height difference here between yeah. Williams and Bolin, and she's doing her best trying to, you know, block any passes she can. Yeah, if, yeah, if you're Williams, you just gotta get lower than Bolin once she has the ball in her hands. Just get lower than her. On the inbound, back out to Shea Bolin. She works it out to Williams, goes to her right, top of the key, stops, almost gets a pocket pick. She regroups, nice job by Williams defensively. Back out to Shea Bolin, oh. gonna have another reach on, a, on a Alexandria Williams, excuse me. And Calvini will inbound the ball right in front of us. 5.37 left in the third quarter. On the inbound to Ty, she's double teamed. A little give and go inside, a little miscommunication. Shea Bolin turns around, jump try for three, won't go. Rebound boxers, and then Madelonis. Let's see what we're gonna have here. They're gonna call that on Brockton, on Montero. There's been a lot of calls going the Trojans' way, actually, what I've, what I've noticed. It's all based off position, too. Little give and go, Shea Bowling right hand, can't finish, rebound Brockman, and we're gonna have a foul on a reach. That's gonna be on Shea Bowling. I believe that's her first of the day. Second foul, stand corrected, as the PA announces straight us out on that one. Now King. Leading the offense. Oh, in, nice inside pass, a little give and go. Broken up and on the loose ball on the floor. Recovered by Brockton. Now we're finally gonna get a whistle and a call. Let's see who they call it on. Looks like they're gonna call that on Kelly. Kelly for the Bridgewater Raiders Trojans. So boxes ball in the Trojans end on the inbound. King has a nice look, she shoots the three, that's off. Ball's loose on the floor, recovered by the boxes. Madelonis is right there to play the ball. Now Williams, Elizabeth Williams. Thinking about three, she steps back. I think that was initially tipped on Fernandez's shot. Wow, what a rebound by Tennis. And another loose ball on the floor. I'm sorry, what were you gonna say? Sorry about that. All right, so here we go on the inbound in the Brockton and in the Trojans end. King now thinking about driving to get her for the for the travel. They're not even going to make the hand gesture on that one. You got to bounce the ball before you before you before you before you move your legs. 440 officially left in the third. King very tight to Madelonis. She goes to her left, driving baseline, kicks it back out to Kelly. 
Kelly now back to Bolin. She makes a move. Now she's going to drive. Here's her height. Her floater won't go. She's able to get her own rebound. Kicks off the tie baseline. Madalonis initially had a look. She's wow. covered by Fernandez. Back off to the baseline. Kelly with a floater won't go. Rebound Trojans. Now Madalonis out to Bolin. Makes a move. Trying to make a move on Fernandez. Fernandez covering her tight. There's a long shot. Won't go. Rebound Trojans. Back out to tie for three, has a look. That won't go. Madelonis oh. hustling to get it there, and they're gonna have a foul. I think they're gonna call that on King. It is on King. A lot of action going on with those last couple shots. Yeah, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of offensive oh, rebounds. Yeah. Yeah. They've, been, they've been going in the favor of the Trojans. Yes. And checking in for Brockton. And King will come out, and Dingle will come in. Under four minutes left in this third quarter. Madelonis thinking about driving around Dingo, kicks out to Kelly, uh, Calvini, excuse me, now to Kelly. And of course they'll get her for a travel. She forgot to dribble the ball before she walked with the ball. Yeah, that's another, that's another travel by Calvini. Another one, she had one earlier in the game. Now here comes Williams now. Amber Silver getting ready to check in for the Trojan inside look. Back out to Dingle, oh. to Williams. And now to the other side of the perimeter, back out to Williams, will do it all again. 10 seconds left in the shot clock for the boxers. They don't have that much time, four, we'll four seconds. Ball. Williams gonna have to shoot, she wills her floater, won't go, rebound Trojans. Outstanding defense by the Trojans, the last few possessions, outstanding. We'll have another reach, they're gonna call that a number 10. Angelina Fernandez, her second foul, team's fifth. Now here comes Shea Bolin, covered by Fernandez, stops out to Amber Silver, back out to Calvini, she drives, and Williams makes a great defensive play on that one, blocking that one, rebound Brockton, under three minutes left in the third quarter. Now driving Fernandez, she stops. Williams almost picks. Silva's going to get called on the reach. Team third. Her first team third. As Kelly will come, will take a seat, take a breather, and and as Stringles checks in for the Trojans on the inside path, turn around by Fernandez won't go. Rebound Trojans in transition. Silver has a look from the baseline. Won't go, rebound. Bullen will clear it up with that big 6-4 frame of hers. Timeout, timeout, Brockton. 2.32 left in the third quarter. Your score, as you can see. Trojans 39, Boxers 22. And there's a replay coming right back at you. Yeah, Shane Bullen on the offensive rebound, put back cleanup. As you said, you could do that as you're six, in your, with your, if you're six four. <laughs> yeah, that frame. That I wish I had that. I'd, you know, and we talked in our little pregame. I was trying to get familiar with some of the Brockton players. Yes. We talked about the big man for Brockton. Of course, we get the boys game coming up. We'll probably yes. have like a 15 minute intermission or, or whatever we'll do. We we'll get a chance for the boys to warm up and help the girls, you know, clean up their bench. <laughs> yeah. So um, get a chance to look at the boys with. I'll tell you, very impressive, the seven and two Brockton Boxers. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that leads the new Southeast Conference. Yes, they are They are, they are two and oh in the Southeast Conference. They defeated New Bedford and Durfee. Yeah, and they still got Dartmouth left. And of course they have the conference game today oh. against the Trojans. Oh, I'll make that three and oh, they actually defeat, make that three and oh, they actually defeated Dartmouth as well. Their there last game, yeah, three and oh. They blew out Dartmouth, yeah. So they're really looking good, and I'd have them in the top 10 in, uh, on 4D Sports Talks, top 10, definitely. Maybe even the top five. Yes. All right, on the inbound, as we come out of this break, and Williams is back in, Alexandra Williams back in for the Lady Boxers. She steps back for three, and it falls short, and trying to keep it in for the Boxers was Tannis. Nice hustle, but just out of her reach. So we'll have a change of possession. Long pass 
Up to Striggles. Striggles, Shea Bowen thinking baseline. Shea Bowen, excuse me, out to Silva. Amber Silva had a look. She stopped. Works over the perimeter to Calvini. Calvini tries to get it inside, and she loses possession. Nice defense by the boxes on that on that play right there in that series. And nice defense. Striggles, Striggles, Striggles kind of struggled with the ball, trying to hold it. That's because she had good defense on her yeah, back. Exactly, yeah. Under two minutes left in the third quarter. Williams thinking about driving, goes around Calvini. Her fadeaway won't go. And a rebound by the Trojans. Striggles now. Long pass to Amber Silver. Work, tries to work inside, but Tana steps in front of that one for the box as we have a turnover. Williams, long pass. Out of the reach of Fernandez. Tr tried oh. to save it. She almost ran into a cheerleader. 133 officially left in this third quarter. And Fernandez tried to pick a pocket right there on the inbound. Now Shea Boland's gonna try to drive, use her big frame, and she's fouled. And they're gonna call that on, make sure we get the number right before I guess. I'm gonna call it Andingo. Team six, we have a whole third quarter to play, a whole, new, a whole nother quarter to play. That's Dingle's second, and you know what I'm referring to that with 16 fouls. Misses the first. Brockton getting some fresh legs in there as Williams comes out and Amazon checks out and checking in is Almeida. And we'll give you, it looks like Almeida and I don't have this girl's number, number 30 on our roster. We'll just have to call her number 30. Oh, uh, yes. She's probably, she's probably not listed on the roster yet. Long three for Bowlin. Hits wow. again. Just a clean shot by Shea Bowen, displaying her talents. Well said, exactly. Now Dingle, Dingle gets it up to Almeida for a long three. Oh, nice try up the rim. Rebound, Trojans. And that's King now in the game. Oh. We're going to have her reach, and that'll put him in the bonus. That's it. That'll make it one and one. Yeah, the game is getting to the lady boxes. They've been they've been fouling a lot. They've been have a lot of dead ball possession. The, the game's getting to them. They they know they can't keep up with the Trojans, but they're just trying their best. But they're not exactly. They're not quitting. Yeah, they are not quitting though. And you know, of course, the Trojans, the, the Trojan staff would expect that out of a Brockton High School, yes. you know, team. Exactly. Misses the first from the one and one rebound tennis. Gets it up to Almeida now. Almeida, she's gonna slow it down. She's double teamed, tries to go around, gets over to Tennis. Tennis now double teamed. And now the ball gets away, and they're gonna just see where they say it last touches. They're gonna say it was last touched by number 30 of Brockton High School, so we'll have another change of possession. Officially 39.7 tenths of a second left in this third quarter. And a 20 point lead for the Trojans. Now King, thinking about driving, kicks it out to Amber Silva. Silva stops over to Kelly. Kelly's gonna try to drive. Lost a handle, recovered by the boxers. And now Almeida stops. And Calvini is gonna get called on the reach. She almost came close. As a call, picking the pocket yes. uh, right out of her hands, and it'll be an inbound pass. For all the boxes in the Trojans, and with 17.8 tenths of a second left in the third. Now on the inbound, Fernandez. So up to number 30 over to Almeida. Almeida trying to go around Calvini. She gets double teamed. She gets the ball quickly and driving and trying to finish. And blocked are going to get her for a travel before a foul was even committed. Comes Ty, Ty now checks in, and Calvini will take a well-deserved break with 2.8 tenths of a second left. Long shot, oh, and hit the top of the rim. Nice shot by Shea Bolin, and that's how the third quarter will end with your score: the Trojans 42, the Boxers 12.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah under Mike House, Shay Bowen having 16 points. Yeah, she's doing a, she's doing an outstanding job. Is she a senior, by the way? She's a sophomore. Oh, soft. Oh, wow, sophomore. Wow. So, so yep, plenty, Shea plenty. Shay Bowen's only a sophomore. Wow. So plenty more, plenty more years coming out of her. And Shay Bowen on this shot, by the way, almost made it. Wow, that was, and she came close too. She came close to making that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tremendous, tremendous basketball by the by the by the Lady Trojans. Absolutely. Tremendous. You know, but you know, not because we're sitting here right now, but the boxes have yet to give up at all. I mean, if you see it, every every shot inside the paint was well earned by the Trojans. There was a boxer in their way all the time. It wasn't like they were undefended. Yes, yeah. Exactly. The Lady Boxers were playing great defense, but just better offense by the Trojans. Yeah. Better offense. Yep. Better yeah. shot. Better shot quality is why right now, unfortunately, they have a 20, uh, 20 point lead as we approach the uh, excuse me the start of the fourth quarter. And so for Brockton, they're going to go with Tannis, Fernandez. Uh, make sure I get Dingle. And both and both Williams, Elizabeth, and Alexandra. As we start this fourth quarter for the for the Trojan, they're going to go with Madalonis, Ty, Bolin, King, and Kelly. Now Shea Bolin on the inbound. Ty thinking about trying. To, she's going to drive. Oh wow! And we talked it. We talked about before the how you know how the box is not giving up. I mean, they may be drawing these fouls, but they're not going to give up the easy shot. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's smart basketball. It is. Allow it, allow zero one points instead of two. So exactly. Yeah. They've, and they and, and the Trojans have been missing from the line a little bit. Here's Ty to shoot a couple for the Trojans. Hits the first. Excellent mechanics on that one. Made that one look easy. Here's the second, and she finishes them both. Just underway here in the fourth quarter in this Southeast Conference matchup. Now Williams tries to work it over to Fernandez. Fernandez thinking about doing something, but she sees Kelly in her face, drives her right baseline, her floater, off the rim, won't go, tipped and covered by the Trojans on transition. Here comes Madalonis now. She's double teamed initially. She stops, kicks it up to Shea Mullen. Bullen thinking about trying to make a move on tennis. Back up to Madalonis, that's short. And here come the boxes. Elizabeth Williams now. Williams trying to go around Ty, kicks out baseline to Tingle. Tingle works it back inside the rim. She's double teamed. And a little turnaround floater almost hits off the rim, won't go. Loose ball oh. on the floor as the girls battle. And let's see what we have. We might have a foul on Williams. Yep, it's going to be called on Williams. And that's her fourth foul, team ninth. And we have a lot of quarter to play. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the lady, yeah, it seems like it's been an eternity since the Lady Boxers scored a basket. They actually only scored three points in the last quarter. All right, so Madalonis to shoot a cut, to shoot the one and one. Hits, hits the first. Here's her second attempt. Hits them both. Approaching the seven minute mark left in the game. Now Fernandez pivots, covered by Kelly. Williams almost loses at the top of the baseline. And there's a steal as King steps in front of the ball. And now she's gonna try to make a move, works it inside, tries to get it over to Kelly. And let's see who they call the, the possession out the ball here, the possession arrow. Yeah, according to our statisticians, it's been ex exactly eight minutes and 58 seconds since the box's last basket, so it's, it's obviously a long time. Absolutely. That's a whole quarter and more. Yeah, All right, on the inbound, Jay Bolin right there and finishes from the pass from Madalonis. Now Williams, covered by Tannis. 
excuse me, called by Ty Tannis trying to set a pick. She drives to her right. Kicks it back out to Dingle. Dingle now, we can't rough it our way. Now we see we go by the clock. She's going to try to drive hard up the glass. She's fouled as Fernandez will go to the charity stripe and shoot a couple for the boxes. They're going to call that on Kelly. Is the first. Silva and Struggles will check in for Kelly. Misses the second rebound. Trojans. And now Shea Bullen thinking about moving. She'll stop. Kick it out to Tannis. Tannis stops. Thinking about shooting. Back to Madelon. Stop the key. No look pass inside the struggle. She's trying to make wow. a move with the right hand. There's a block in, in the middle by Tannis. Covered by the boxers. On the six minutes left in the game. Now Williams thinking about driving inside pass to Tannis off the glass. Nice look. Nice finish. Now, Madelon is striving, trying to get it back out. Baseline, the struggles who hits. That was a nice shot by Striggles. Nice, nice confident release. Nice confident form as well. Now, Williams, thinking about making a move. She don't know if she's going to go that pick. Long three. Won't go. Rebound, Brockton. Wow. And Tennis is there offensively what a, for what the boxers. A, what a rebound by Tennis. Now Williams thinking about driving. Kicks it back out to Fernandez for three. Hits. Now Madalonis. Moncada by Montero. Bullen steps back for three. A long three. Won't go. Rebound Brockton. And here comes Dingle. Works it inside. Fernandez. Oh, blocked. Wow. As Montero tried to finish, Shea Bullen will take a seat. As you see, Angelina Fernandez with a nice three there. Her first three points of the game, according to me. Inside, Williams back in. Alexander Williams, oh, she can't finish that bucket. Another shot won't go. Recovered by the boxers. They get a fresh sh shot clock now. Williams thinking about driving off the glass, won't go, rebound struggles. And in comes Tannis, over to Silver off the glass, in and out, won't go, rebound Brockton. Now here comes King now, King will bring it up. And struggles saw that all the way, Williams did have her hand up like she was telegraphing, I'm open, I'm open, but how, you know, again, then King's a shorter person, how she's gonna see if she doesn't wave something, you know, wave some type of body powder. You know, wave, wave somehow on the inbound. Approaching the four minutes mark left in the game. Inside pass to Fernandez. Her, her oh, nice shot and a little fade away. That looked like that was going to go in and out, but it got the roll and in. Yeah, I like Angelina Fernandez's game. She's a slashing forward. She can score in defense. Now Tannis driving over to Silva. They switch. She goes with the right hand up the glass and in. Now Williams in transition. They're not stopping. Brockton's going full speed here. Off the glass. Nice move. A little finger roll with the right hand. Oh, nice steal by King. And she's going to try to finish. And she's fouled. I told you she was my favorite. See yeah, that? Yeah. What a nice move by, that, by King. Yeah, 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 the lady boxers are actually staying alive a bit. About three, three minutes and 30 seconds to go. They're staying alive. Oh, misses the first. Yeah, but they but they have struggled at the line mightily. This game, yeah. this game could have been a closer margin, but they've just struggled at the line. Ten checks back in, and Tay checks out for the boxers, and it looks like they're going to go with Smith for the Trojans. And I forget, I think that was Fernandez who checked out for Brockton. She hits the second. Yes, it was Fernandez. Now Amber Silver. 
Very good with the right hand. She's very good with the left hand. King almost picked her pocket. Recovered. And a steal by the boxers. All studded by King. And she's going to try to finish to help out the team's cost. She stops. And she works inside and she's fouled. Yeah, your, yeah, your favorite player, Dominic Kinari King. She's really showing out in this quarter right now. You know, she did that in the, in the beginning of the first quarter. She really showed her temperament to, of the game. Her, is, she, does no, she doesn't have a height difference, different uh, deficiency, that's for sure, because she makes it up on the court with her speed. Hits the first. And she misses the second, but Tannis is there. She's going to try to clean it up. That's blocked, recovered by the boxes. Now King now on the other side of the baseline, covered by struggles. Almost lost the ball. She's trying to, I hope they're going to get her for a carry. That was kind of obvious on that one, unfortunately. Yeah, that was nice defense by Struggles on King. She was running out of real estate in that corner. Yes. <laughs> on the inbound, boxes going with the full court press. Struggles now. Stop, she sees King behind her, tried to get Alves, and then King steps in front again. Oh, wow. See if she's gonna try to finish her floater off the glass, won't go. Nice, nice attempt by King though. Oh yes. And now checking in for the boxers is Fernandez, and, and checking out is Elizabeth Williams. Now Williams. Stopping, driving, nice try, won't go. Well defended by the Trojans. They go with their full court press. Amber now will try to give everybody's number if we can as they go back and forth. And just like that, we're all the way up to Postic now. Postic in the game, over to, uh, over to Silver. 2.20 and running left in the game. Struggles tries to set a pick inside, off the glass, nice move, nice passes. Postic finish. Finishes that. Yeah, that was a nice lay by Dana Posick. Nice. Timeout, timeout, Brockton. Your score. The Trojans 54, the Boxers 33. 210 left in the game. And we'll stay right here. We're going to shoot it over to a commercial, but I don't think we have one ready. <laughs> and there's a look at uh, Cheryl Seavey and her lady, lady Trojans. Trying to finish this and trying to go to 9 0 on the season. And as we talked about the boxers, oh, I hope they don't put the camera on us. See how thin you look on TV? <laughs> and there's the boxers right there. And Coach Hatcher, Morgan Hatcher, she cannot say her team did not have heart playing this big Southeast Conference matchup with the Trojans because they have hustled. They have definitely hustled. And, you know, besides the foul trouble and finishing some key baskets, you know, they, they showed heart tonight. Yeah, the Lady Boxers have definitely showed heart tonight, yeah. Especially Keenari King, Alex, Alexandra Williams trying trying to figure it out. Angeline Fernandez kind of showed out a bit. Tannis had some Tannis had some good rebounds towards the end. Yeah, so it's, it, was hard. it was a lot of heart by the Lady Boxers. Absolutely. Now Williams, she steps back for three. Won't go. Rebound Fernandez. She tries to fall. That shot's blocked. Tannis on the rebound. Kicks it back out to Fernandez there. Her three. That's wow. short. It'll be Trojans ball. Yeah, just great defense all day by the by the Lady Trojans. Great defense. Along only 33 points. A minute 50 left in the game. As Posick brings it up now for the Trojans. She's double teamed. That's blocked initially. And it almost hit my play-by-play -play partner. Uh -huh. Word up on the monitor in the inbound right in front of us as Smith now works it inside and McGrath tried to finish her shots blocked. It will stay. Trojans ball in the boxes and 136 left in the game. On the inbound, Striggles now. Str Back and forth they go. That was Jay, uh, Jake's on the rebound. Here comes Williams now. She, excellent handles by that young lady. Behind the back, making a move, trying to work. Inside wow. a nice pass by Fernandez, she can't finish. And now inside a little hook shot, won't go. Wow. Nice try by Montero. Fernandez on the rebound, tries to work it back into Williams. She does, trying to go around. Jake's off the glass, won't go. Actually went right over the rim on the other side. 
And let's see what we have here. It will stay Brockton ball. Officially 103 left. Struggles will check out. And Convent will check in for the Trojans. On the inbound from the boxers. There's King now back in the game. She does a little floater. That's short. Rebound to Stan to Tannis. Shot by Hernandez. Won't, Fernandez won't go. Rebound Trojans. 45 seconds left in the game. King trying to pick a pocket. Now driving her floater Ooh. up the glass. And hits by Posick. Nice little floater for her. Nice. A nice, a nice quality of baskets for Dana Posick. Good job. Now Williams, she's gonna try her oh, floater. Wow. Yeah, counted and one. Mm. It's called heart that on yeah, that girl's yeah, sleeve. Exactly. A lot of heart. And she's gonna try to make this a three-point play. And she misses it. Rebound Fernandez oh, to clean it nice. up under the hope. Right place, right time. Good heads up play. And you hear Coach CB yelling, clock, clock, there's no reason. And then oh. Smith picks her pocket. She's gonna lay it off the glass and finishes. Nine seconds left and they'll just let it ride. All they do is get over full court. And that's your ball game with your score of the Bridgewater Arena, Lady Trojans 56, the Lady Boxers 39. Chris and I will be back with game two as the visiting boys Trojans team comes in to take on the seven and two Brockton Boxers. 